So I've got one of these solar chargers here and it stopped working. No output from it at all. So um, I was just going to throw it in the bin, but then I thought to myself, um, let's just get on and have a look and see what's inside. There can't be much in there. So I've opened it up and to open it up, you just get a knife down the crack here and just prise it open. I actually thought I could reuse the solar panel as well if it's um, if it's working fine. So I thought rather than just chuck it away, let's have a quick look inside it and we'll see whether we can either reuse it or fix it. So let's get it open. You can see it clearly was leaking water all over the place. So it's pretty rubbishly sealed. This is actually from Maplin, this one. And now down here, you can have a quick look at what we've got. So let's have a quick look in here, see what we've got. So we've got there, we've got the old LED indicator, which we might be able to get out. There we go, just pulls out, which is knackered. Pop that over there, it's sticky for some reason. And then here we've literally got what have we got? We've got the, the positive coming off the panel, and then we've got the negative coming off the panel into this little rusted PCB. Move my hand out of the way, so get better light into the rusted PCB. And then we've got um, a diode there. For those that don't know, that stops the current from the battery flowing backwards into the solar panel. So it's like a one-way valve, if you like. And then we've got a resistor here, um, which serves no purpose other than uh, reducing the voltage and restricting the current, rather, to the LED. Now, just working out that colour scheme there, that's um, quite a higher resistance. Um, I don't know, around 500, sorry, 5K or so, 5 points, uh, I think that's purple, 5.67K, something like that. And normally that would be, if you wanted a bright LED, um, that would normally be, I don't know, roughly around 390, 400 ohms, something like that. So what they're doing here is um, making the LED visible, but very dim, to use as little amount of power as possible, um, so that the maximum amount of power goes down the lead, obviously, to charge the battery. But it does act as an indicator just to show that when the actual um, the voltage gets a blow, probably about... I don't know, 9, 10, 12 volts or something like that. Uh, obviously the brighter the LED will be, um, the more output there will be coming from there. So to fix this, all we really need to do is connect, we don't need this PCB to be honest with you, it's just junk. So it's actually quite an easy repair. Um, I've just checked the solar panel and that's by connecting a voltmeter to the positive and negative and that works absolutely perfectly. It's outputting about 16 volts. In uh, as sh and, oh, it's quite sunny at the moment, but um, when the cloud goes over, it's about 16 volts or somewhere around there. Um, so all we need to do is connect the, a new diode up to there, facing the correct way. So the line uh, on the outer side, stop it almost like the line acts like a wall if you like, stops it coming back in from that end. Think of it that way. And uh, then on the negative side, straight to the negative of the lead. And then all we need to do is take a little feed off of here through a new resistor and into that LED. And uh, likewise, the other leg of the LED goes back to the negative terminal on there. And then we'll put it all back in, squirt a load of uh, um, hot glue in there or something, seal this back down, seal up the holes, and we should be good to go. So it's all soldered back in. Um, so we've got the little diode in there. I should have showed you the diode, but it's one of the little black ones. I think it's an IN4001 or something like that. And the silver end goes towards the battery and the end without the silver goes into the solar panel end on the positive. 
um, then take a resistor off the positive to the LED and then the other leg of the LED back to the negative lead. It's a really simple circuit. Um, I was just fiddling around there. You might notice that I've got two resistors in there in series. I was just seeing what effect they had. Um, and basically they also, um, where they leak current through the LED, the brightness, that seems to restrict the, um, the charge voltage to the battery at the same time. Um, so the higher the resistance you put in there, the, um, the more the output voltage is. So with, at the moment, I've got something like about 8K combined in there and the output voltage at reasonably low light as it is at the moment, it's probably, the sun's just going down over there. It's about 16 volts. Um, so I will put the, uh, about 5.6K back in and then um, just seal it all back up with some more of this hot glue around there. And um, we're good to go. Here we go, if I flip it over, see the LED. It's on absolutely fine. And there we go, fixed.